Hey everyone, this is Shika from the Samosa Budget. I hope you guys are doing well. It is that time of month again where we have to set up a new monthly budget. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really love it if you join my YouTube family and hit the like button if you get any value from this content. So in today's video, what we are going to do is plan out June as a month. And then we are also going to stuff our digital envelopes in my YNAB app. The digital envelopes that will be stuffed will be the ones coming out of my paycheck as I get paid first. So we create a monthly budget, but we also budget by paycheck, if that makes sense. So let's get right into the video. This is what the June inserts look like. I've made these myself and I'm super, super excited about it because I've left the green and yellow vibe behind and June is a particularly favorite month because it is my birthday month. So I went for like these cacti and some scattered speckled dots. So this is what the front cover looks like. And then we have got this month's focus and I've got four areas here, income, summary, savings tracker and debt tracker. So these insets will evolve as I use them and I find that I'm not particularly enjoying or finding a section useful, or I think that something else would be more useful. It's all about seeing what you actually need and you can only do that by trying. This is June's version and I'm sure there'll be another version for July. So let's just get started. So for this month's focus, I broke up this into four sections. So I wanted to capture any changes that would happen going forward our savings focus for this month, any additions such as new subscriptions, which I'm gonna add in, and then anything that we wanted to cash flow this month. So for spending, we wanted to include another PSN online subscription, which is annual. This is 50 pounds. This is for my husband's PlayStation as he's coming to the end of his trial. And then we also would like to get a new battery for my camera as my filming schedule has been a bit all over the place and at the mercy of my battery. So that's another £50. Additions, we've got an app that I use for my workouts and it's £1.99 a month. And then we've also got the, I think Instant Ink starts this month or the next month, but I'll put it in anyway. And we've gone for the 349 plan. And if I need more, I can get more. But it's just about starting at a baseline and seeing what suits your needs. For savings, we try and hit 200 pounds as the goal. And we usually do this in like a weekly amount. So it's 50 pounds per week. And we take this money from our variable categories. So if we overspend in our variable categories, then this money suffers. But we find that doing it this way means it really challenges us to keep under budget on our variable spends so we can save this money. I think changes will be okay for this month. So income I don't share and then this page will get filled out right at the end. So you'll notice that I've split out emergency fund into its own section. So emergency fund was a sinking fund for us when actually it is a type of savings. So I've made a separate savings tracker and then a separate debt tracker. And I've including some sections that we don't actually do yet. So investments, we don't actually have any investments, but we would love to get to a point where we can start investing. Let's just put in what we would, ooh. I need these figures here. So the savings challenge, the figure here is going to be zero because we, whatever we save, we put into our emergency fund. So that's going to be zero. And then I'm just gonna grab my laptop to get these other figures. So our cushion at the end of May and beginning of June, so essentially May closing balance, it is 37906. And the aim is to add 200 here and then hopefully have an ending balance that's plus 200. I don't feel this in right now because the whole point of the cushion is if any bills or expenses were to fluctuate and be higher, then we have that cushion to dip into. So I won't put a figure for that here, 
and our emergency fund I don't have that figure for me right now but it's it's a fairly large amount but debt tracker so we've got an extra oh actually that's what I needed to put in okay so changes here we have got a new line of credit I guess Tesco loan so this is some debt that we've moved on to this loan so we can stay on a 0% interest and I believe that's £30 a month. Okay so DFS is 89 76 so it's almost gone and we'll be adding on 44 88 This is a minimum payment and then the Dreams mattress which we've got on 0% finance we've got £463.20 We'll be paying the minimum on this as well, which is 57.90. What I'll do is I'm just gonna zoom you out. So, so what I'll do here is I'll have my phone with the app updating how much we are stuffing for these as I pay for these. And then MBNA is 5826.59. And we're paying 60. I don't pay for that bill, that's hubby's bill, so but that will just stay there and then for m and s it's 1647.15 and we pay 100 every month and then this loan is now okay so that is 2778.30 and we've got we've fixed a high minimum payment on that so we're making some headway and then tesco debt is three eight four five so we want to really focus on getting the MS and the blind slope down as the zero percent rate ends soon for those so those are going to be the target once we start our debt snowball but i guess because everything's on zero percent we're just going to go with the snowball method and last month's payoff was three percent so because we're not making any additional payments i imagine it'll be the same Okay, so our total cushion that we budget for is £200. It's £100 per person. But I will stuff my £100 from my paycheck because I get paid first. Giving is £8. The Barclay card. Okay, so this is just the same debt. This is 175 Ah, I didn't add on. I'm missing the Tesco. So I'll just do that and I'll just do 30 here. And then it's £100 for MS, £60 for MBA. It is £57.90 for the mattress, and then £44.88 for the sofas. For monthly bills, we have contact lenses, which are £24. And then we have pet insurance, which is £23.58. Windows are 13 my phone bill my phone contract is 59 we're not paying any for travel or gym this month hubby's phone bill is 23.91 we've got a coffee subscription that we've delayed it for a month i'm just going to put the monthly amount of 20.85 this is three bags of 250 grams of freshly ground coffee itunes subscription there's a new one so we've got 6.99 for icloud and then i've added on 1.99 for an app that I use so that is $8.98 I've totaled up the subscriptions from Netflix Spotify and Kindle and that is oh I don't realize when they add up together it's $34.97 and then a Canva and instant ink so those two will be $14.48 the house bills are paid for using hubby's paycheck so I won't be stuffing envelope for those so we've got the cable which is 72 and our mortgage is currently on a mortgage holiday whilst i'm on furlough and this is helping us save for our emergency fund because our emergency fund was just a couple of hundred pounds which is not going to take us very far so the only thing we have to pay is the mortgage insurance which is 7011 our council tax has gone up so it's 149 gas and electric is 130 and then water is leave 49 and then the car we've got a lease which has a maintenance package on it and that is 49193 so i might just add up all of these 
So what I'm going to do now is just add up all of these to give us a total. Okay, so that brings our monthly bills to £222.77. And then our house bills, including the car, come out to be £962.04. You can see I've totaled up debt, monthly bills, house, and that brings our total fixed to £962.04. And that is because we are not we've deferred our mortgage right now. We're in the last month of it, I believe. Well, now we are into what I would say the fun bit because the variable and the sinking funds are looked after mainly from my paycheck. So you'll see me stuffing my digital envelopes on the left here. So for food, we are budgeting 350. For clothing, we are going to budget 70 pounds. For eating out, we are going to budget, I've got 60 here, but I'm gonna put that up to 120 because that just doesn't seem realistic. We're doing 120 and then kitty is also 120 and then household is 20 pound. Cigarettes are 140 and you'll see here that I've got 16 pounds left in my envelope to spend because I need to go get another pack. And then home decor is 25 and medical is 60 pound and then fuel is paid for by hubby is 100 and then fun is 110 which is our allowances and stationery so anything i buy for like planner inserts sticker paper which is a sneak preview and things like that car wash is 19 and then obviously for unbudgeted we don't put an amount there because everything is budgeted out and let's not forget we also have two things that we are cash flowing this month which is the PSN online subscription, which is £50, and then a spare battery for my Canon M50 camera. So let's just give that a quick total. Okay, I'm coming out to be 1134. So 1134 is for this off, for this column, and then we've got a hundred pounds of transactions that we know we want to cash flow this month. So I guess I'm gonna leave this as 11134 because the £100 of spending is budgeted. It just doesn't sort of fall into these categories. Okay, so sinking fund. So these are the sinking funds for June and this is what it looked like for May. I definitely prefer this cleaner look and I'm just gonna use that to help me figure out these beginning balances. And so for house, the beginning balance is 967. We do have a boiler service this month, so that will come out of this house sinking fund. And we put in 144.75. And this includes like our Costco membership, Amazon Prime, which we pay annually, car insurance, house insurance, and everything like that. For wedding, we've got 440. We put in 83 pounds. For Christmas, we have got 190.74 and we're putting in 30 every month we don't really do like big massive expensive things for christmas we do secret santa so we can keep the costs relatively low sales we've got 150 and we put in 30. this is for anything that's like amazon the prime day black friday sales and then for diwali we've got 163.87 and we put aside 3269 because we're the eldest in I guess my husband's generation we give cash gifts to everyone in the family that's younger than us so we do set aside money for this and then birthday is basically either mine or hubby's or our cat's birthday we don't really spend too much money we just put 40 to the side for that and it's my birthday month this month and i've asked for hubby to pay towards my haircut which is going to happen in july so then for gifts which is anything that we need to buy for anyone else so baby shower engagement gift birthday presents for everyone else it comes out of this category we've got 60 pounds on it we had 107 put aside every month and we thought that was too much. So we've lowered it to 60 and then we'll be putting in 60. So that will leave us with 120. And then annual social is a gathering that we have every year and one family hosts it and it is our turn this year. So we are putting aside money for that. We have cleared out NFL 2020 as it's not happening. 
and we are now saving for NFL 2021. So we've got 74 in the pot from May and then we are adding a further 74. And then I've put in another row for car 2021 as we need to save up for a car deposit, for a car lease deposit. So we will start that in September. Now, for most of these, I will put in the ending balances now because the, we won't be spending from a lot of them. I won't do the balance for house and birthday and gifts just in case we have some spending in that area. So for the wedding, we have 523. For Christmas, we've got 220.74. I'm gonna sort these out so they're round numbers for next month. For sales, we've got 180. And then for Diwali, we've got just under 200 and we're at 148 here. So I'm just going to add up our total sinking funds here. This is 571.44 that we are sending for future spending basically. And the whole purpose of sinking funds is that they allow you to pay for future expenses by putting away smaller amounts now. Our total sinking funds that we have at the beginning of June are 2,482 pounds and seven pence. So in our minds, this money is sort of just gone. We don't obviously have to spend that 60 pounds. We'll try and find deals and presents and stuff, but that money is there when we need it. It's not really a case of if. We know that these expenses are gonna happen, so we just prepare for them now. So we're basically done with setting up June. I just want to take you through what the rest of these inserts look like. So we've gone through fixed, we've gone through variable, we've gone through sinking funds. And then we've established our goals and anything that's changing at the beginning. And what I will do now is I can fill in these summaries for the budgets. So we know that fixed expenses are 962.04. I feel like that's really low. Okay, so this amount is only for these. So then I need to add on these subtotals. Okay, so that is a much more regular number. So I've got 1860.59. And I'm just gonna cover that. I'm just gonna do a little sticker here. And then I'm just gonna cross out fixed and put total on another label. So I'm already messing it up, but that is fine because as much as it is pretty, I want to make this functional and these numbers need to be accurate. So I'm just gonna put this 186059. So 186059. Okay, cool. I will work out where the other discrepancy is now and get back to you. I'm gonna fill in variable to be 11.34 plus the, yeah, I'll just do 11.34. Sinking funds we know are 571.44. And then we're not making any extra debt. We are putting 200 pounds into our cushion here. Ah, I wasn't meant to fill that in in case we use it. Okay, I might have to use white out. Okay, I'm being overzealous. So we've got this month's focus already and we've got a few totals here. I want to double check the fixed expenses. So this is what the inserts look like. The prints are the same every page. I've just sort of tried to make the font colors a little bit different for the totals. And then we've got the budget recap page here. And then I've added in unbudgeted purchases, impulse and wishlist purchases because I'm dying to buy a cricket sticker cutting machine because I'm basically performing paper surgery and it's traumatic and then we just have some dotted paper and then this is going to be our June monthly tracker so I will decorate it and just do some colours and then date this and then we'll go straight into our weekly check-ins and some of this paper cutting is a bit off because the printer margins are a bit off for each page, but that's okay. But I'm really glad, I'm really proud of how it's turned out and I've managed to add in clothing and unbudgeted, but I couldn't fit in like the full words. I've just written unbudget, which doesn't make sense in English, but it, I didn't want to make the font size any smaller. 
but that is what the June budget looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you got some value out of it and I just wanted to show you a real life monthly setup with me because I get confused all the time and I need to triple check the numbers and quite often if I'm doing it by myself I need to go back to hubby and just double check my figures because he's a lot better at maths than I am but this is it and I hope you got some value out of it please hit subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you in my next video bye